So hello everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Shri Valli, consultant medical oncologist from Shri Shankara Cancer Hospital, Baswanguri, Bangalore. As we all know that March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. I am here amidst you all to share my thoughts and certain facts about colorectal cancer which can help us in diagnosing the disease much early and we will be able to attain cure. So first of all what is colorectal cancer colorectal cancer refers to any abnormal growth in the colon and or or the rectum so most of the time these two organs are actually grouped together because of the various common features they share and uh, before we dive deep into the colorectal cancer let us understand a bit more about colon and rectum so colon and rectum are the distal most end of the elementary canal that is of the digestive tract so large intestine is a hollow tube like structure it ends into the anal canal opening that is basically the anal opening that helps in excretion of all the digestive wastes from the body so the primary function of this colon is to absorb all the nutrients and water and let all the waste products go down which is later on stored in a passage called as the rectum and eventually it is excreted so how do colorectal cancers occur colorectal cancers happen when there is abnormal uncontrolled proliferation of the cells which line the colon or the rectum so it initially results into something called as a polyp when this polyp not all polyps are cancer so when this particular polyp it grows and it invades the other structures like the blood vessels the lymph nodes and metastasizes to the other organs so that is when it becomes cancerous so it takes several years for a polyp to become cancerous so what are the risk factors for colorectal cancer there are several risk factors modifiable as well as non modifiable so age more than 50 obesity then family history <coughs> of colorectal cancers is another risk factor and also inherited syndromes like lynch syndrome or familial adenomatous polyposis wherein patients have multiple larger polyps and history of maybe a personal history itself of inflammatory bowel disease so certain other conditions where are there where there is altered bowel habits so crohn's disease ulcerative colitis and uh, somebody who is like a first degree relative with polyps or colorectal cancer or maybe a personal history of polyps or colorectal cancer even to can add so not only these smoking alcohol type 2 diabetes all these increase the chances of getting colorectal cancer so what is the prevalence of this particular disease and why should we know about colorectal cancer so when we look into globocan 2020 statistics so colorectal cancer stands three both in incidence as well as in death so almost about you know 1.9 million <clears throat> new cases we see and 0.9 million deaths we see you know every year because of colorectal cancer hence knowing about it is very very important and uh, what are the symptoms so how can we detect them early because most of these cancers get detected in later stage maybe because of neglecting because several other benign conditions too can mimic similarly and uh, can really can result in delayed diagnosis so if we detect early the chance of getting cured is high and once the stage becomes stage 3 and 4 the chance there's no chance for cure we are only aiming to cure in stage 3 and in stage 4 we are only aiming to control so what are the symptoms altered bowel habits like constipation loose stools blood in stool incomplete bowel emptying narrower stools than usual abdomen pain maybe feeling of bloating fullness so decreased appetite then loss of weight frequent fatigue so frequent flatulence pain so all these symptoms when they persist for almost more than 2 weeks it is very important to visit your physician and get yourself diagnosed 
So what are the various investigations by which we diagnose? So once a patient comes with these symptoms, we do a colonoscopy and biopsy of that particular lesion wherein a small chunk is taken and examined. Then CT scan, so CE, CT, thorax, abdomen, pelvis or a PET CT, tumor marker like CEA. There are various treatment modalities that are available like surgery, radiation, radiation is mainly for rectal cancers, chemotherapy, then we do have targeted therapy and immunotherapy in advanced setting. So how do we prevent? As we all know, prevention is better than cure. So although there are no definite ways to prevent colorectal cancer, but some measures can definitely be taken to reduce it. This can very important is screening. So screening refers to detecting the cancer in those who do not have any symptom, but are at higher risk for this particular cancer. So the polyps in the colon or rectum usually take a minimum of 10 to 15 years to develop into cancer. Regular screening tests can help in early detection of polyps. So those aged 45 years or more or those with family history are at higher risk and they should undergo regular screening with colonoscopy. So in both men and women, obesity is a risk factor. So having adequate diet, exercise, maintaining proper weight, diet rich in fibers, fruits and vegetables, all these help. And we need to quit alcohol and smoking. So let us stand together and fight colorectal cancer by spreading awareness about symptoms, regular screening and diagnosis. Thank you.